Back on Wave News 10, 646, Friday morning. We're continuing our team coverage of Hurricane Irene from Virginia Beach. All right, there's a lot to do along the ocean front, things to build up and things to break down. We want to check in with David Culver, who's got the latest on efforts to build a protective wall against Grauman Island and other things happening there. David, good morning. Hey, Carrie and Don, good morning to you. I want to go right to Battalion Chief Tim Riley, who's joining us this morning with Virginia Beach Fire. Tim, I want to ask you about Sandbridge first. They are currently under a mandatory evacuation. That kicks in at noon today. What should residents there be prepared for? Ask them to uh, ad ad adhere to the advice. Right now, the, we're concerned about Sandbridge because uh, the storm surged and could get the wash over from uh, the ocean as well as uh, tidal flooding from Back Bay. Also, there's limited access. There's only one way in and one way out to Sandbridge. So um, that is a much different uh, portion of the city geographically than, say, where we're standing here right now. You were telling me a little bit ago that there is a possibility that with this mandatory evacuation and with this storm coming up that you will actually have to evacuate one of your stations there. Explain that a little bit. Well, we've given people, we're confident everyone in Sandbridge can get out within this 24-hour period. As conditions deteriorate uh, late sa uh, Saturday night, there is a possibility that emergency services could be suspended there. Uh, it just depends on the condition. That'll be a game day call. But if people in Sandbridge stay there, they will be on their own, and they need to understand that. I want to hit the point again. There will be no citywide evacuation. You're looking at this section by section. You also brought up that folks don't have to leave town all the way to be safe, or at least to go to safer parts. Right. Our city is infrastructure structures designed to withstand um, category two, some buildings up to category three storms. Uh, we're looking at localized evacuation, targeted areas. Uh, we're reviewing an EOC right now, our low-lying areas, Cat 1 floodplain areas, and that's the reason we've uh, set up two city shelters, uh, possibly going to four shelters uh, Saturday, and residents don't have to just massively leave the city. We are not recommending that. Localized neighborhood areas, and listen to the advice of their emergency planners, and uh, we should be uh, fearless, uh, fairly well. All right, Battalion Chief Tim Riley, thank you so much this morning. All that shelter information, by the way, is on wavy.com. Jeremy, let's send it over to you now.